What up, guys? Ultimate Zone here. Crash Man Wrestling, episode 301. Holy shit, we're starting off with the Meltzer Bros here. Former Crash Japan Pro Wrestling Tag Team Champions. Losing at final bout to Chasing the Dragons. And you gotta believe they wanna get that championship back. They're gonna work their asses off to get to that point. Question is, what are they gonna do? What are they gonna go what are they gonna do tonight to get a win? Sure the number one contenders. The number one contenders can still lose. But what are they gonna do tonight to solidify themselves and make sure that they become those solidified number one contenders? Riley Greenwood and Fisher Jackson always watching them in the back and you know they're studying up on this match right here. What the hell is this? No way. These guys are back? The machines of war are here. And I didn't expect this about the slightest. These big bohemians make their way down to the ring. Not the biggest big guys of all time, but they're definitely a problem here for sure. Holy shit. He's still ready to get things going. You know, even the Meltzers are under, the Meltzers are scared here for a moment. Talk about an explosive entrance. Talk about a powerful entrance. Well here you go. Holy shit, tag team match in here, starting this one off here for Crash Man for Wrestling, the Meltzers starting this one starting this one off against the Machines of War. Let's get it going. We're on right, starts this one off here with Marty Meltzer. Meltzer cuts him off. Oh, reverse. Should get anything on Roman Ron right if he can. Oh, shots right there. Back and forth. Here we go. Oh! That's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. Gotta get the big man out of the way. Tell him to suck it. We're gonna throw one. Ron Wright's got outsmarted there, you know, in some sorts of ways. Oh. And again, are they gonna go for it again? No. Went for that spear, got none of it. Went for that sucking Enziguri, got none of that. Ron Wright using that size advantage here. Oh! To take that spear. It's like running into a brick wall. And he's the smaller man on his team, if you think of when you when you put it down to it. Right now these guys have a no oh, have to get back in the ring though. If he had a three here. And imagine if the if Rowan Wright and Don Smith could get oh a win here tonight. Oh. If he had a four. Catch that leg. Oh that leg. Dragon screw. Watch out. Oh! Didn't get that full suicide dive, but got more than enough of it. Referee resetting the count. That was amazing. Either way. Open up here for Crash Man Pro Wrestling Tag Team Matching. Like I said, you got to think about you got to think about this way. Imagine if oof, shots right there. Imagine if these two big bohemians could get a shot at the world as a tag team championships just getting the just defeating these guys former crash man wrestling tag team champions here being the Meltzers tell them to suck it you see tag he tags him in here you two go oh guess I runs into him again I'll tell you brick wall-esque that shot took him down oh another one there close on that time shut the block takedown there now Don Smith has turned things around and got things back in his favor. At least for the moment. Oh, stomps right across the chest. Now something across the spine. Has him in a seated position. Goes for the kick. Gets none of that. Super kick to the back. Goes for something. Oh, Bulldog. Got to bring the big man down somehow, some way. Super kick eats all of that. Super kick again. Oof. You see how quickly he was hitting him for something. He practically, he practically grabbed him out of minute. That was insane. 
just pushes them down. Has a size advantage there and using it. Has a size advantage there and using it. Tossing him over the ropes here. Big time punch. Look at this. Nathan Meltzer turning things around. Moonsault there. Going for something big. Senton didn't get all of that one. But got more than enough quite possibly. Hooks the leg. Could be in right here. Now we know that oh, the Machines of War have been here back in the era of 2014 season. And they, oh, we're so close to winning championships, but never found that opportunity. Is this their year to finally do it? This could be the start right here, going for something big. Big man doing big things. Moonsault there. Crop behind it, and he's going to the top again. Don Smith to the top again. Big man doing big things, but I don't want to go. I don't think he should go to the well too many times. Go for something super. No, saw it coming. Maybe they've been watching. I'm not too sure. Sets up back elbows and everything of that sort. Super kick to the side of the head. Super kick to the back of the skull. That time lands it. Now you see Don Smith trying to get about. Big bad, big bad Don Smith trying to make moves. But Nathan trying to get something going. Oh, kick to the midsection. Beautiful back elbow after that handspring. Now trying to pull off the next thing. What's the next thing they're going to pull off here? I'm not too sure. And these two are making things work. Super kick worked right across the ch the face. Tell him to suck it. And says, let's go. Oh, misses that. Oh, stomps right across the leg. I think he was trying to go for the Hurricane Rana. Gets cut off there. Rolling right now. Oh, shots right there. Bell clapped to the ears. Tosses him over. To the second rope. Does Rowan right go? Going for something big. Misses that. Look at this inverted Frankensteiner. You're gonna like it, but you gotta realize this one may be just changing the game here. Super kick. Wasting no time. Wasting no damn time. Don Smith in a bad sorry, rolling right in a bad spot. Marty Mel's ready to go for this 450 and end with a finish. No, it misses that one. Tag team match in this back and forth. This is what I'm expecting to see. This is what I'm expecting to see. And Ron Wright going for his finishing move over here. I'm not sure what it was, but he didn't get all of it. He didn't get enough of it. Shot to the chest. Maybe it's too, too early in this match. It takes that Enziguri. Hits another one there. Drop kick and taking every damn thing. Oh, misses that super kick. Kicked in the midsection. Rolls him up. Rolling right. Oh, gets caught right under the jaw. Goes for some big senton. Oh my gosh. Doesn't roll across the chest and anything, but he got more, more than enough of it. Shop right there again. Form shot swatted away. Oh. Look at this. Oh, just smashes his face down. And Rowan Wright trying to get things going. Let's see what the big man can do. Close line there. Another one. Ducks the line. Snap power slam. Beautifully done. Been trying to survey what his next step's going to be. Oof. Oh gosh, setting up for something. Got none of that though. Reverse DDT. Oh, he saw him trying to, trying to close in there. And Don Smith said, no, you're getting none of that. Both guys trying to get anything going at this point. Super. No, he caught the super kick again. This time catching Marty Meltzer's foot. These guys know each other damn well. Oof. Ron Wright and Don Smith being here well before the Meltzers were. Damn near a couple years before the Meltzers were. Jeez. Rowan right with a shot. Oh, it makes us it makes us makes it looking save there. Now he comes in. Oh, form shot. Close I know. Misses that. Toss him in the corner. Best what to be. Oh, missed those knees. Super kick and he got all of it. Takes him out with that one. Nathan going for the hook of the leg. Could be right here. Referee one, two, three. This one is over. Super kick just finishes it. Amazing! Those knees would have destroyed him. If he came in there with that full force with those knees, he would have been destroyed. And he came out of nowhere with the victory here. You're gonna like it, but the Meltzers. Oh, he's choking him. Trace is trying to save it. Come on, he's just trying to save his partner here. Oh my gosh, just stumping the hell out of him. Oh my gosh, this guy's running shop here, delegating. Now tossing, oh, big Don Smith out. 
You ain't gonna like it, but there you go. The Melsers. Holy shit. Anyway, with that being said and done, you know there's gonna be some kind of something between these two teams here. But Rowan Wright and Big Don Smith are back. And best believe, if they can get themselves back mentally and physically where they want to be, we'll have new tag team champions here for sure. But right now, the normal contenders are the Meltzer Bros. If you are chasing the dragon, you best watch yourselves. Anyway, we got some more action when we return here to Crash Japan Pro Wrestling. Don't you dare click away. Great tag team opening here, but we got some more action for you. Let's get it going with this kid. Someone who's been doing this for a while and was a damn one of the one of our one of our longer reigning pure test wrestling television champions of last year. And damn it, held it almost the a whole of last year with a top prospect tournament. Didn't win it, but ended up doing more than the top prospect winner did. That being. Uh, Joe Hellenic, Hellenic, alongside Johnny Schleicher earlier earlier on this week in Pure Intense Wrestling got called out by Davin Nevada. Davin Nevada said, "I need both of you guys. I need both of you guys for whatever reason. We, I want you guys to team up with me and take over Pure Intense Wrestling by storm. And if you know they're going after Pure Intense Wrestling, you know Crash Band Wrestling is they're going after that too. Here for sure. You have these two." well-connected promotions being Crash Band Pro Wrestling and Pure Intense Wrestling. And Lloyd Daniels had a great match against our world champion a few weeks ago being Kaz Okada. Kaz Okada came in above but it showed that Lloyd Daniels could stay in it. But a guy who went just recently to Pure Intense Wrestling and just came back Is this man, Naito. Naito is an individual that you don't want to fuck with. And ha alongside having Sakamoto and Shimizu following right behind, you best believe these guys are ready to kick ass and take names. If the case is sudden one more time, if the case and everything has gone the right way, we just may have Naito. It's a possible singles champion again, and just may have these two in the be following behind him as tag team champs again. The only, the only time can tell with that. But I'll tell you this: Evil is a force to be reckoned with. These three guys, if they get their shit together this year, quite honestly, they could be an untouchable force. Untouchable force. These three here. Out of their fucking minds, man. Lloyd Downs looking right there. As these three make their way in this ring. Scary individuals, man. Scary individuals for sure. You want to know what evil is all about? And then. You got a match for you got a match waiting for you. You want to see what Evil's all about? Well, get ready, because these two are matching up next. Nato, Lloyd Daniels, one on one. Let's do this thing. We return to Crash Man Pro Wrestling. Welcome back to Crash Man Pro Wrestling. These two take each other on, or may Nato may have the more normal face on his in his squad of misfits here. Um. Naito is far from normal. He does things that he wants to do on his own time when he wants to do it, and no one's going to tell him no. No one's going to tell him what he can do. He feels like he runs this shop. He runs Crash Man for Wrestling, and he just may. But right now, he's not world champion. He's not even he's not even intercontinental champion. And his boys aren't even tag team champions right now. So right now, I don't think he's running too much. But it was a time where Naito felt maybe like he was running something. Oh, that back elbow there. Boy, Daniels, oh, breaking the legs down. He knows what he's doing. Oh, uppercut right there. Nasty. Kick to the leg. And you see that, like, he got him with the, the the edge of the toe. The edge of the toe. Maybe the really sharp part of the shoe. Oof, both guys collide. Oh, Nato a little quicker on that exchange. Right now, Nato feel to turn things around. Oh, working that arm. Reverse DDT. 
And Neto going to shoot himself up to the top. Here tonight. We'll hit that Destinio. Oh, things could definitely be going. My gosh. In his favor. He's speaking about shooting yourself to the top. Neto going to be able to just do that with a victory here over Lloyd Daniels, who's no joke. And just like I said a few weeks ago, had a great match with Kaz Okado. I mean, great match. So those guys went back and forth. Kaz was pulling him everything he could there. Lloyd Daniels kept giving him his all. Kept giving him his everything. And right now, Lloyd Daniels finds himself in a little bit of trouble, though. Now Naito. Naito up to no good. Naito up to no good here. Oh! Running power slam. More of an Oklahoma slam, if anything. No running behind it. No running necessary. Just throws him down with ease. Naito has the size advantage in this one. For the most part. Oh! Big boot tosses him right over. That was nasty. Lloyd Daniels trying to figure out what the hell he needs to do to get himself back in this thing. Mentally, he may be a little off right now. You see Sakamoto right there. Oh, watching as he closed in there in the camera saying, hey, anything that happens, I'm ready for it. Look at this. To the top, these two go. Oh! That was nasty. Clobbering shot right there. Neto finds himself in a bad spot, at least for the moment, but he's able to recover out of that. Saw that coming. Northern Lights Suplex was able to get a little bit quicker on the exchange. Talk about the speed on Lloyd Daniels. He has that grapple speed that not a lot of guys have. He has that speed. He has, his hands are quick. He's able to he's able to make maneuvers happen, and that's why he's been champion for so long. He's not only technically savvy, but he's smart in the ring. He's also quick in the ring as well. There's a lot of guys who are, who have you know what Lloyd Daniels has: the speed, the smarts, the the speed, you know, the, the technical ability. But not everyone knows how to execute it per, to perfection. Like Lloyd Daniels may be able to do just now. Right now, it seems. Naito's in a bad spot. Look at this. Oh, cuts himself off. He knows what's going on. Oh! And that little bit of speed. Lloyd Daniels, I think, was fooling everyone. He was scared Naito on the outside. Naito was shot back there for the moment and then got shot with like a bullet. There from Lloyd Daniels as he came in. Sets up the hammerlock. Look at this. Flips out of that one, though. Oh gosh, this could be right here. This could be right here. The rope break. The, the foot under the rope. The foot under the rope. Look at this. Wasted no time. Butterfly release suplex there. I'm just checking on that, that rope to make sure that... Oh, Naito and his crew were... Oh, messing with it, the referee. Making sure that this one... Oh, stays somewhat fair for Lloyd Daniels. You see Shimizu and Sakamoto on the outside. They know... If Naito makes the if Naito, sorry, Naito, Naito makes the signal, it's gonna be time to jump in. Oh, swatted that hand away. Uppercut right there. That's up, Snapmare. Naito showing off here. Now he needs to get something back in his focus. To get himself right back up. Trying to pick up Lloyd Daniels here. Close on right there. Another one. Off the ropes he goes. Oh, swatted that away. Shot swatted away. Naito comes back again. Close on again. Another one there. Off ropes he goes. Calf kick and he got it all that time. This could be a bad spot here for Lloyd Daniels. Sets up Koji. Koji, and he's been through this before. If anyone's been through a submission like this before, it's definitely been Lloyd Daniels. Lloyd Daniels had to get out of a lot of his moves too. You think of guys like John Lewis Jr. Who, who work the same way. Sets up. Oh, beautifully done. Crucifix pin. Only a one after all that. All stumps right across the back. Elbow right across the midsection. Goes for something big. Oh! When he gets in the way of that, does Naito. And again. Oh, you see the way he lifted him. He had everything going. Kicks him down there. And now goes for those shots to the chest. Another one there. Another one there. Another one there. Almost explosive-esque shots here from Lloyd Daniels. And Lloyd Daniels wasting no time to turn him over for the possible three. He could take all the breath out of his chest there with that one. But only a two. Lloyd Daniels close. But no cigar. Not, at least not just yet. But Lloyd, if anyone knows what they're doing, it's Lloyd Daniels, man. Oh, uppercut right there. Oh. This may have him grounded there. Oh, that leg. Shots right there. Look at this. He got all of that one, this video. And he can put him away. He can put him away. And now we see him pulling him right into the middle of the ring. May have Lloyd Daniels out on his, on his back here for the possible three. Shoulders down. Two. No. 
And how close was that? That Destino may have done it. If he was, a, if he did, if he was doing a little more damage to the Lloyd Daniels, and you see Naito pacing around, saying, "What the fuck do I need to do next?" To the second rope he goes, sent on right across the chest. I bet you, if you, if Naito did a little more damage, that Destino would have been eight and complete. Now I mean complete three zero. Oh. Now Lloyd Daniels to the second. Should I get Naito off the ground here? Naito slowly moving up. Watch out! Just a rock kick right there. This may have had, just may have all of it. Smart man, turn him over for next thing. What's this next thing he's going for, though? Look at this. Smacking him up. And puts him back. Mexican surfboard here. Look at this. Romero stretch, if you want to call it that. And oh my gosh. Just say Fuji Thunder Fire. Look at this submission hold here. And puts into a dragon sleeper. A combination of two moves at once. But then able to put away Naito. Naito trying to hold on as much as he possibly can. And he's trying to hold on as much as he possibly can. And oh, punch right to the side of the head. Gets it out of the, out of the locked legs of Lloyd Daniels here. Lloyd Daniels has been kicking that, that, that foot out. Up to no good, up to no good, up to no good. Is Naito. Oh, that face. And neck bouncing right off that top rope there. Almost guillotine-esque. Definitely take the breath out of you. I mean, many many have lost a, a lot of, uh, of matches simply off of that. It could be the start of a finish here. Neto knows said things are opportunities for him. He's going to try and take it. He's going to try and take it here. Goes for it all. Oh, that hammerlock back suplex there. Toss him right on the arm. And Neto now showing off here. Showing off here. Oh! Look at him just sit back. Look at the referee. Two... No! Lewis says, what the hell are you doing? Calf kick swatted away though. Shots right there. No! Goes for something big. Gets cut off there for the moment. Naito trying to set up for something. Has him taken him by the hair now. Smart man, smart man. Touch him over. Snap. Mare. Drop kick to the back of the neck. What a match we just, we've seen right here. Naito. Might want to go to the top or something of that sort. But wasting too much time turning to the crowd. Stomps right across the back. Naito's so damn weird and out of control. To the top he goes. And you see Lloyd Daniels move out the way quickly. Look at the legs again. Oh no. This may have all of it here. This may have all of it here. Look at this. All oh, those back elbows though from Lloyd Daniels. Daniels comes right back in. Back elbows there from Naito though. Look at this. And again, there he goes. Shot right into the back of the neck. Look at this. Dragon suplex, and he got all of that one. Lloyd Dan's been waiting. Lloyd Dan's been waiting. Oh, no. Lloyd Dan's been waiting all, all, all night for this one. Here he goes. Oh, and he gets swatted away there from that. Oh, Naito would have slapped to the face. Shots coming. Son, coming a mile away. Sets up. Look at this. Oh, Daniels is special. This could be it right here. You may call it what it is. Referee saying, do you want to give up? And he's holding on as much as he possibly can. Not enough in him to keep it locked in, though. Oh, my gosh. Shots right there. Look at this. Oh, that face. And that's him bouncing off that mid-corner. That, that, that mid turnbuckle there. Top turnbuckle smash right off. Two... No, and Lloyd Daniels again throws that shoulder up. How resilient is this guy? I'm telling you, this guy's resilient. I've seen a lot of resilient people, but Lloyd Daniels may be one of the best when it comes to resiliency. How much he can stand this thing? There's a lot of resilient guys here in Crash Spam. We've seen that just. We've seen that just from Pure Intense Wrestling earlier this week. We've seen it from Hardcore Haven. If you haven't seen the Hardcore Haven, go back and check that out as well. You talk about resilient people. Samson Crane's a guy that comes up in my mind too. But right now, Naito working on every part of the body that he possibly can to take out Lloyd Daniels here to combat this man. And I, oh, Lloyd Daniels not getting any of it. Oh, sets up for something. Gets cut off there though. Sets up DDT. And Lloyd knows exactly where he wants to be. Going for that kick again. Quite possibly going for that single leg. Going for that knee. Got all of that one. Hooks the leg. Is it enough? Referee one, two, three. This one is over. Both guys trying to pull up their thing. Trying to, both guys trying to make something happen for each other. Over each other. Get something over each other. And when it's all said and done. Here you go. Lloyd down with a big time victory. And they so willing to shake the hand?
I don't know about Naito as of late. Maybe he has a change of heart. I don't, I'm don't. i not too certain. But best believe, you got to watch for Naito. Naito is a crafty individual, man. You got to watch for him. I don't, I don't know what he's going to try and do next. You never know. He could be playing us all for all we know. And with that being said, we got some more action for you. When we return here, the Crash Man for Wrestling, don't you dare click away. Crash Man Pro Wrestling. Oh no! And Sammy Air Nova's done here with Tyson Croy. It's supposed to be Croy against Nito Baja. Referee telling Nova to get the hell out of here. We've seen this before. It's Tyson Croy even 100% at this point. He's saying I can go. Nito Baja's gonna try and bring in his bring his best. Let's see what he got. Let's see what he has. Oh, both guys think it's something. Of that, but a little bit slower on that exchange right there. Oh, may have spoken too soon though. Tyson Croy setting up drop kick. You know, Baja in trouble here. Poke to the eye. Oh, missed that shot. The opportunity may have just gone south there. Drop kick there for Tyson Croy. Croy was able to turn things around. That springboard drop kick, but now may just be the chance this may be over here. Oh. Hooks the leg here on Croyd isn't enough for three, one, two, no. Welcome back to Crash Japan. If I haven't, if I didn't say that already, it's my Aaron Nova still has some hatred there for Tyson Croyd. You can't even go and see the battle they had back at oh, oof. The battle they had back at Hardcore Haven just last week. Oh gosh, I guess you just go check that out. Crash Man for Wrestling. Had their few, oh, couple matches there. Oh my gosh, look at this inverted Frankensteiner. You see Chris trying to hold on. Usually Chris, not the guy that's beat up too easily in this thing. Got a victory over Air Nova. It seems like Air Nova hasn't forgotten that. And then neither has Tyson Croyd because right now he has to face going to this thing with, oh. Going to this thing not fully 100%. I don't think he was anyway. I mean, you get a little bit of time to recover, but after the match they had on Sunday, last Sunday, it was, I don't know how you would keep going. Either way. Oh, that running knee. Off the he goes again. Oh, and got all of that knee that time. Nasty shot right there. And now set up for another knee. And a basketball right now is Nito Baja setting up. Oh, and he got him again. My gosh. These guys, man. These guys. Tyson Croy just may have everything here. Look at this. Knee right across the skull. May have put him away here. Referee. One. Two. No. And Nito Baja throws that shoulder up. Usually that knee will put a normal man away. Usually a normal man will be put away. But Nito Baja, no normal man by the slightest. You can't take him out here by the slightest. He may not have the craziest win-loss record here in Crash Man Pro Wrestling or Pure Intense Wrestling. But he definitely can show that he has some heart. This man always came with heart. He always came as one of the best when it came down to being the crew of the, the when it comes to being cruiserweights. When you talk about cruiserweights, you think of this guy. Here for sure. When you think of the early cruiserweights, you think of guys like this man. Close on takes him down. Another one there. You think of guys like Rojo King Jr. as well. Oh, okay, right to the side of the face. The Lucha Libre style wasn't necessarily invented by these guys, but they can definitely test. Oh, that they got something to give. Shots right there. Shots again. Forearm shot to the spine. This man up to no good. Look at this suplex. Gosh. And wasting no time. Not by the slightest. Baja set up. Look at this. Perfectly placed there. Oh, we got one in one winning an angel. Call it it. One, two, three. This one is over. Tyson Crow with a victory here. Wasting no time. You don't want to spend too much time going in this thing not 100% and saying to yourself, oh, well, I'll just, I'll be fine. I'll be, no, 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 there's no time for that. The back and forth insane. This right here, thought would have done it. Even on the guy like Nilo Baja who's been here for, for ages, I thought this would have been it, but it still wasn't enough until he landed this one. And if he can't get you with a knee, he'll take over with a wing and winning angel and make sure that he gets a victory here. Big time victory here for this kid. 
Crash and Croyd, no joke by the slightest. And if the Meltzer's returning here to Crash and Wrestling tonight didn't show that we that they had something to bring, that Elite isn't something to fuck with, well, then there you go. Oh, come on, Croyd. Come on, Croyd. You've done enough, man. You've done enough. You've done enough. Clothesline there. And ba oh, Baja still trying to fight back. Come on, what are you doing? Da super kick to the side of the skull. I think he knew it was coming. I think he knew it was coming. I think he knew it was coming. This. Strong Irish whip there. Oh, he's still trying to fight back. Are you serious? No. Gets cut off. Oh, my gosh. Tyson Court wasting no time. Tyson Court wasting no time right here. May have it all. May have it all. Knee right across the face. Knee right across the face. You don't gonna like it, but there you go. Holy shit. Wasting no time. And he's, he's showing everyone that he has something to bring. What a match. And what a night it's been. It's one of the shorter nights here for sure. By a long shot. Crashman's Brussels not usually this short. But hey, there you go. Anyway. I believe Ayo Sparza has something to say up next. Is it addressed towards Austin Carell? I'm not too sure, but I'll tell you what. Something's going to pop off here soon. Anyway, that's up next when we return here to Crash Japan Pro Wrestling. During the break, Ayo Sparza made his way down to the ring. He let everyone know that he's back on the chase for Crash Japan Pro Wrestling Gold. But just moments later, Austin Crow made his way down to the ring, stating that if Spirals is back on the chase for gold, well then he was on the chase for Spirals. Spirals let Corell know that if he's on the chase for him, then he's right there in front of him. Spirals then proceeded by attacking Corell first. He went back and forth until the referee came down to separate the two. And speaking of chasing the championship gold, a new number contender for the Crash and Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship will be determined next in our main event for Crash Japan Pro Wrestling. Welcome back to Crash Map for Wrestling. Oh my gosh. Drama and everything here tonight. If it wasn't the tag teams going at it. If it wasn't something else. If it wasn't Ale Spirals and Austin Carell. Someone. Something is always going on here at Crash Map for Wrestling. Even when it seems like it ain't. There's always something going on. There's always something going on around here. Either way. Neo Kang guy here. He has opportunity. I mean huge opportunity. This might be the biggest of ever. Like this is big. This is super big. And I'll explain why once this man makes his way down to the ring. Why this why is this happening here? Oh jeez. The way Ben Salad making his way down to the ring. This guy. This fucking guy right here, man. He has come up huge. And Kanga had been the same, and I'll explain more once these guys make their way to the ring. But Ben Satellite with the big victory that led him to this point. And he has to be, even in that scouring mug of his, even in that, that not face of his, he may look a little upset, but you know when it's inside, he knows, hey, it's tonight. It's tonight. I'll, I'll try to explain what, what's happening here. Two weeks from now, two weeks from now, they haven't told me yet, but we're going to be having, Crash Man Preston be having their first pay-per-view of the year. And then the week after that, Pure Test Wrestling will be having their pay-per-view. The, and by, um, by then, we'll also have a new Top Prospect winner. Now, the Top Prospect winner will not be taking on the champion on that same night. But he will be taking on the Pure Test Wrestling World Champion or Crash Japan Pro Wrestling World Champion, whether depending on whoever he chooses, at the next pay-per-view coming up after that. Now, to get to where we're at now, these two guys have defeated some of the best Ale Spirals being defeated, Tyson Croyd being defeated, both guys who are great at what they do in the ring, and they both got defeated by both these guys here. But that being said and done, they become, in a in some weird way, number and number three contenders for the world championship. Now, one of these two men will be taking on the world champion, Kaz Okado, two weeks away from now, and that's going to be huge for you. You think about all that going down here, you're going to be thinking, who's going to walk it above right now? 
You know, Kang got being worked down by Ben Sadai. Ben Sadai has the experience advantage here. Not by a super big mile of a long shot, but definitely have been doing some things here for sure. Has that exposure that you know, Kanga doesn't fully have. And either way, whether you like it or not, Ben Satellite now, oh, you see him trying to work out of that. that this, this hold here flips himself out of that one here for sure. And these guys are so damn cruiserweight-esque. You don't expect them to be, oh, world champion, but anything is possible at this point. And now the self-proclaimed king of the cruiserweights, oh, could end up being self-proclaimed king of the world here. In due time, flatliner jumping flatliner. At the same time, Neil Ken guy, the more quiet, the more quiet version of I'd say Ben Satellite here. When it comes down to things of being German suplexes and things of that sort, it's a master of said German suplexes being Neil Ken guy. And very quiet in his in, in, in when he's not in the ring. Very quiet when he's not in the ring. We definitely get things going here for sure. Oh, drop kick there. You stop Ben trying to hold back, realizing where he's at at the last moment. Gets caught up with that uh, double. Oh. Drop kick from the second. Now we're going to work on the legs here. And if once the person knows Ben Slight pretty well, it's Neil Ken guy. Because these guys came from the business together. Not fully, but definitely know each other to an extent of knowing what they're, each other are going to try and go for. Ben Satellite likes to go up to the top of that red arrow, that corkscrew, that corkscrew uh, shooting star. Which is not an easy, well, it's not even an easy thing to think about. It's not even an easy thing to say until you see it happen with your own eyes. Oh, jeez. Same time, Neil Kenga likes to set up that diving sent on if he can possibly land that. You see Ben and Satellite moving away from Neil Kenga here. And Kenga breaks him back down with that neck breaker. Kenga to the second again. Elbow, got none of it. Oh, stomps right across the head. The head did you hear that? It was a small thud. That was his boot off the top of the head. Oh, you see him counter that blow. Ben and Satellite comes back with a bigger one. Going for him again, getting swatted out of the way. Kick to the miss section. Sets up. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, that backbreaker. Lung blower, whatever you want to call it. Straight jacket, lung blower. And now setting up for something big here. You know, King guys always for something big. Oh, no. Kang got to no good. And it seems like Kang has everything going here in this match so far. Question is, what can this man do? Big time superplex, and imagine him getting a lot of a lot of momentum behind you two weeks from now, especially a win after over Ben Satellite, who is no joke by the slightest, and going to take on Neil Ken guy. You know, sorry, they're going to take him on Casal uh, Cato. Imagine that. Same thing, like I said, thing, same thing. You got to think about for Ben Satellite. Imagine if you can do that as well. Look at this. Deadlift German suplex, he got all of it and just crashes him, but releases it to do a little more damage, doesn't hold the bridge, doesn't hold the bridge, and maybe the smartest thing the OK guy's done so far, and now pulls him away from the ropes here, trying to go for the hook of the leg, smart man, one, two, no, throw that shoulder up at two. You know Neil wants to set up and go to the finish, and quite possibly just may have it, quite possibly he just may have it here. Sets up, German suplex and bridges it up, one, no! Ben throws that shoulder back, damn there, one here. Ben now trying to get something back here, he needs to. Right now he's found nothing over Neil Kenga here. Ben fighting back, elbows and all, kicked in the back. Oh, and rushed right into that forearm. Nasty shot, oh! Oh, swat away that drop kick there. Shots right there to the midsection. Oh! Oh! Whatever he was going for, cut him off. Snap mare. Go oh, and kicked in the back. Standing. Go! Moonsault there. Standing course through Moonsault. Not many men can do that. But he didn't. Ben Sellers won a guy who can. Ben Sellers not usually got to fly as of late. But it seems like it's starting to pay off the dividend once again. It was just a year ago where Ben Sella was getting pushed every which way by everyone, was being left behind. And now he says, hey, fuck everyone else. I'm doing what I want to do for me. And he's made a statement here, not only becoming Cruiserweight Champion of the World, but also turning a new leaf here for himself. Turning this back and, and everything he wants to go for, he's been figuring out new ways. And now Ben Sella going to the top for filming big. Reverse 450, even though got caught with that one. Steps across the leg. And again, you see Nico Ken guy going for that leg there. And could put away Ben Sella here, but no. Ben being smashed up. That elbow right across the head. 
to bust him open there, and that may not help, especially having that long hair in front of him as well. Could be a bad detriment here for him. But either way, Ben Sedley still standing in this thing just as much as Neil Kengai is. And now Kengai working that neck one more time. Trying to work anything he can, trying to get any kind of any kind of advantage he can over Ben Sella here because he knows if he gives Ben an opportunity, he's gonna take every minute of it. Oh, shots right there. Well, that's what the hell is he going for? Moonsault lands right over him. Rolls out the outside there. I don't know if it was maybe it was a plan, I'm not too sure. But maybe it was a plan. Maybe it was a plan. Maybe it was a mistake that Ben was able to get out of the way of him quickly. Make sure of that. Gosh. Man has no love for anything anymore. Just become a, uh, an empty shell of a guy. And that shell has been filled with hatred. And you gotta love this hatred. You gotta love this new Ben Satellite here. Saw it coming, Neil Kengai, though. Look at this brain buster. Oh my gosh! Ben Satellite just got cracked with that brain buster. Sauced him into the corner here. Oh! Big time Yakuza in the corner. Smart man knows exactly what's going on. Sets up for the Falcon Arrow. No, not just yet. Ben pulls him back. Dragon suplex there. Referee, main event. This is the main event, ladies and gentlemen, as well. I've got to say that. Like I said, this is for the number contendership for that. No. Crashman Pro Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. Look at Neo in trouble here. Ben celebrated the fly, and he got all of that one. You ain't gonna like the man, but you still gotta admire that he still has some some care about him to fly because that's what brought him to the dance in the first place. Neo's never been a, a Neo or Ben Sully have never been world champion in their lifetime, but they've been cruiserweight champion. And they want to go for something a little more. They want to go for something a little more. Then hey, this is the night to do it. This is the night to do it, especially when so much is on the line. Back elbow there. Oh, and a great shot to the, sc the skull there. Nothing nice but the slightest. Showing off to the crowd here, at least for the moment. Ben not often to do it. But he will. He'll take the, he'll take it. Who oh, that can run? Oh, my gosh. These two need to get back in this ring. Oh, my gosh. No, no, my, no, no, no. Come on, Ben. Ben, what are you doing, guy? Oh my gosh! Ben taking no liberties with anyone. Tosses him back in the ring. Oh my goodness, you hear that? That thud was Neo Kengai's spine smashing off that there. And Neo Kengai knows. He needs to get something for himself. He needs to get something going. 450. He lands all of that. Ben realizes at the same time, too, that this is opportunities here. Shot to the chest gets out of the way. Arm drag there. Shot. Oh, kicked to the leg. Throws him down and stomps all that weight into the chest. If he can take that chest out of the way, if he can land that red arrow, he can just maybe get a, get a win here. Shots again and again. Oh my gosh. Neo Kangai getting worked here. Kangai getting worked here. Sets up. Sets up for that straight jacket. Backstabber one more time. And he just may have it here. He just may have it here. Sets up. Look at this. Down. Snap Dragon. Sorry, snap. German suplex. No, and Ben throws that shoulder up. Neo needs to figure out what his next step's gonna be because right now he hasn't been able to put him away with that German suplex as of yet. And a going to the side of the skull. Neo in trouble here. Ben side to the top, and he just may have this finish. He just may have this finish. Did you see that way he corked his body with more cork than anything? And he just may have it here. Three. This one is over. Ben Satellite walks out above. You don't have to like him, but you realize this. Ben Sully has came from small nothings in this last month to something so big. It, it's amazing to me. And it's amazing that he's given us, he's been given us opportunity as well. Not many men get opportunity to go for world championship. And you know this man is going to take every, every opportunity he can. What a match here, man. Holy shit. Neo Kengai had everything going from the start of this thing. Even some try to go for that shot. But everything that he went for wasn't working here tonight. I don't know if he was 100% or what. I don't know if Ben Satellite's 100% mentally sometimes. But I know this. Ben Satellite's a new number one contender for that Crash Man for Wrestling World Heavyweight Championship. You heard me right. The World Heavyweight Championship. The World 
Heavyweight Championship. Castle Carter, best be, you better be watching these matches, man. You better watch every person that comes into Crashman Pro Wrestling. Everyone's gunning for that championship, and Ben Sala is just the next guy on the list. Can he make that list? And not only that, not just say, not to just miss say make the list. Can he be? Can he? Now that he's on top of the list, can he become the guy that writes it down? The guy that writes down who's on the list next. Can he become the world champion? Only time can tell. Two weeks away, Ben, you best be ready because Kazuo Kata is not going to give you an inch by the slightest. This man's going to put you through hell and back. Ben, so they best be ready for that. Anyway, with that said and done, as always, ask to comment, like, subscribe. The Top Prospect Tournament continues next week here on Pure Intense Wrestling. Crashman for Wrestling. Uh, it's going to be getting just as insane. Like I said, the stuff we saw here tonight is only just the beginning. And the hatred between Spirals and Corel is... Just, <laughs> It's just shooting off right now. That being said and done, as I as always say, comment, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching this. Thank you guys for being loyal. And if you're new here, click that subscribe button. It really helps me out so much. Click that like button. Let people know what I'm doing. Share me out on social media, wherever you can find. And at the same time, leave a comment on what you guys think. You just may see it. You never know. The future can only be bright when the universe mode is being run by this guy right here. Ultimate 100 here. And I, uh, that being said and done, like I said, I'll see you guys at Crash Man Wrestling Top Prospect Tournament continues. Until then, peace out and good shit.